multiply using the FOIL method. Okay, so you see here that we have these two binomials, which you probably know how to FOIL, but now there's this number four out here in front. Okay, and it is also going to multiply the other two things that are being multiplied. So you can either distribute the four first if you want to, and then FOIL, or you can FOIL these two first and then distribute the four. And that's the method that I'm going to show first. Um, maybe at the end we'll do it the other way just to show that it's the same. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to FOIL these first, and I'm going to leave this four just on the outside right there, okay? It's going to stay all the way until the end. So let's go ahead and do it. Uh, let me leave that four in those parentheses. All right, FOIL. FOIL stands for first two, outer two, inner two, and then the last two. All right, first two. It's y times 2y. That is going to give me 2y squared. Outer two, y times negative 1. It's going to give me negative 1y. Inner two, 5 times negative 5 times 2y. It's going to give me negative 10y. And then the last two, negative 5 times negative 1 is a positive 5. All right, let me go ahead. I don't want to lose that 4, so let me drop it down, put it right here in front. All right, well, like any two binomials that you multiply, you're going to look to see if the middle two combine, and they do. They're both like terms. So I'm going to go ahead and combine minus 1y minus 10y, and that is going to give me minus 11y. 2y squared minus 11y plus 5. Okay, so I have successfully foiled these two binomials to get this trinomial right here. And now let's go ahead and distribute through this 4, and I'll show it kind of underneath here. 4 times 2y squared is 8y squared. 4 times negative 11y is negative 44 y. And then 4 times 5 is, what's that, 20? 20. All right, and this is my answer. I've multiplied all three of them. I'm going to leave it at that.